Before every battle, there are battle cries. Before every war, there is a war of words. And before Super Bowl 26 ever began, there was sound and fury that, alas, signified nothing. One, two, three, four, four. We're going to pump it up, baby. We're going to make history today. This is for real. We ain't got no game tomorrow, Steve. What's up with that? Who we playing tomorrow? Nobody. This is it. Six minutes. This is it. Show them something they've never seen. That's all I got to say. Big Talk has never won the Super Bowl. World champions need steel nerves and steely eyes. A steady hand and a firm grip. Some teams measure up to the size of the challenge, while others seem dwarfed by the enormity of the prize. Despite the clash of styles, there was little argument that the Washington Redskins and the Buffalo Bills were the two best teams in pro football. Oh! Come on, boy, let's go! Oh! Oh! The flamboyant Bills pranced onto pro football's largest stage like the Funky Bunch. While those old smoothies, the Redskins, glided into the Metrodome doing that old soft shoe. Yes! Here we go! Two vastly different teams vied for a championship. Only one could win. Redskins marched downfield behind the hands and legs of number 81, Art Monk, their ancient but ageless wide receiver. On four receptions, Monk accounted for 79 of the 87 yards. The drive was much like the Redskins themselves, orderly, precise, and predictably ending with a touchdown. To his right, throws it in the end zone, leaping catch for Monk, touchdown, Washington Redskins. They draw first blood in Super Bowl 26. Got too many weapons, too many weapons. I think I'm going down to the locker room, guys. Uh-oh, he's saying it's over. <laughs> Let the record show, 5.51 left in the first quarter. Jurgensen thinks it's over. They're checking to see now if Monk was, had both feet inbound. They got overruled that one. By instant replay. Well, let's see. Left foot on the replay is down. Right foot is off out. the line. Out. He's out. He's out. That's no touchdown. We have a reversal. It's going to be worse. Yeah. Woo! Rutledge to hold. Uh oh, fumble on a snap. Rutledge picks it up. It's going to be no points. A seven point swing. Who got through? 97 Cornelius Bennett. That's who. Order turned into chaos as the botched field goal triggered turnovers on the next two possessions. Here's an interception. It's 27. Brad Edwards back at the 30. He's returns it to the 20, to the 15, to the 17 yard line. Big turnover. Hey, got to get the ball and give it back to him. We got to get the ball back to him. Man. Okay, Sonny, do you hit him quick here or do you run it? There's a pressure on him. Oh, get him. Get him. Known for being the ultimate closers, the best finishers in the game. The Washington Redskins saw two certain scoring opportunities wasted. And even worse, they had allowed the floundering Bills to stagger back into the game. Yeah. 
Defensing the most balanced offense in pro football presented two enormous challenges, Mark Rippon and the prolific Redskin running game. The hard-hitting Bills limited the Redskins to 60 yards rushing in the first half. Come on, suck up, baby. Suck up out there. Come on, baby. Get your penetration. Let's go. In a season when Mark Rippon was sacked only nine times and was often barely breathed on, the active Bill defense hit him early and often. I think they hurt him. He's stunned. He is stunned. He really got hit. I mean, those linebackers took him apart. Boy, he really got drilled. Look at him. He, look at him. He's hurt. You can see it. Now, this may be a mistake here, him staying in there. Rippon sets up. Going to go deep. He's got Sanders at the 20. Grabs the ball and pulled down at the 16. And Rippon hurt with his ribs. You could tell. Comes right back and throws a bullet for a big one. Who, who wasn't wanting to take him out for a couple of plays? What is left arms dangling down to his ankles? Leave them in there. He throws for the right. Mark Rippon was rattle-proof. And just as easily as he shrugged off the Bills' attempts to shake him, his teammates shook off their early jitters. Don't let him in! Don't let him in! Let's go! Let's go! Mark and Monk stack here on the near side in lightning formation. Rippon back to pass on a quick shot. Throws it in the near flat to Biner at the five. Dies for the corner. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. The frantic Bills, who owned the top-rated offense in pro football, trailed 10 to nothing early in the second quarter. But the primary weapons in their high-tech attack, quarterback Jim Kelly and running back Thurman Thomas, were stuck. <laughs> Desperate to gain a chokehold on this game, Kelly deserted Thomas and the running game, which produced only eight yards in the first half and decided victory would have to come from the air. But this strategy evolved into a frustrating series of missed opportunities. First downs slipped away and touchdowns slid through their fingers. never got a handle on this game and lost a grip on themselves. Unsportsmanlike conduct foul on number 83, offense. When you lose your cool, that's what happens. Kelly sets up at the five, throwing deep. Got a man there. It's picked off by Daryl Green. Goodbye. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I can't believe Kelly hung that ball up there like that. He's got too much experience for that kind of pass against the Redskins. Sam, he's in the playoffs so far. He's thrown three touchdown passes. Nine completions in 21 attempts with two interceptions added up to a first half bottom line filled with red ink when the true colors of Super Bowl 26 were burgundy and gold. The Redskins passed and ran at will and assumed command of the game by the middle of the second period. They would graphically demonstrate their varied attack weapons and showcase the skills that made them the highest scoring team in pro football. They broke breathtakingly big plays. 
And then down deep, the hogs made the dirty little ones beautiful. Yeah! Let's go! They ain't that good, man, if you keep playing, right? Just gotta keep playing. Hey. The Bills kept their bravado, but trailing 17 to nothing, it was hard to keep a brave face in the bleak light of halftime. <laughs> And it stood between the Redskins and their third Super Bowl victory. This is what it's all about Be now. Be the horn, baby! Hey! The hand signal from run is this. That's their, that's their hand signal from run, okay? Listen up now. I'm calling it again. No, let's go! Only doing when the hitch game on the corners out there. The hitch game is draw play. Blitzed up the middle, has to dump it off, picked off, intercepted at the 25, to the 20, to the 15, it's Gadea to the 5, almost to the end zone. The interception on the first play from scrimmage resulted from a blitz by linebacker Andre Collins. It was the brainchild of assistant coach Larry Pecatello, who dreamt it up on the bus on the way to the game. Dub Mac 1 is its proper name, but its rightful moniker is the bus driver's special. The maneuver took advantage of the Bills' vulnerable middle and came as a complete surprise. Another look at the play reveals that the inventive Redskins induced Thurman Thomas to take a few false steps from which he never recovered. It was said the Redskins were a brainy team, not the best team, but the best and brightest head coach is Joe Gibbs. And his impeccably prepared team took immediate advantage of the turnover. Riggs going left, cuts back over the middle, walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Very cool, very calm, never touched. The Redskins had dominated on offense with 24 points, but the shutout was cemented by its versatile defense. I around the corner on him. You got held there. That's what yeah. you got. I just went all the way around and hit him I'm saying way. I could beat this guy around the corner. But he, he grabbed me and tackled me to the ground. This defense has both brains and brawn. The Bills receivers were the victims of a vicious mugging. Because they were forced to pass on every play, the receivers became clay pigeons, easy to hit, set up to explode. The Bills played gamely, but they could not plug all the leaks. When one was filled, another sprang up, and Jim Kelly was sacked five times. While their fans caved in, the Bills never gave up. Keep working, keep working. It's working, 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 baby. And it was this fighting spirit that willed them back into the game in the third quarter. The Bills converted Don Beebe's 43-yard reception into a modest three points, and then made the game competitive on a short touchdown by Thurman Thomas. I think they're going to run it, guys. Let's see. It is third down and goal. And here is Thurman Thomas in for the touchdown. Running off left tackle. The Bills have scored. It is 24 to 9. Five times. Five times. And the Bills have come back. 
with 10 unanswered points after trailing 24 nothing. Boy, does that first touchdown of the third quarter look huge now. But Rippon and Gary Clark, number 84, turned this thorny trip into a rosy victory lap as they played a game of pitch and catch, connecting four times for 60 yards. converted two crucial third downs on the drive. The second coming on a play that is called Scram Right Touchdown. Tremendous pass again by Mark Rippon right into Lettuce. Well, it's third down, third down 10. Rippon 16 for 28, 245 yards. Back he goes. Good protection again. Going deep. He's got Clark in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Clark almost made a fair catch. He was so open. 30-yard touchdown pass. Rippon has struck gold. Too many weapons. Backbreaker right there because the pressure was back on the Redskins and they responded. The stunning 11-play, 80-yard march was both an exclamation point and a period to Super Bowl 26. Good job. Good job. The opportunistic Redskin defense helped sweeten the 34-10 lead. A fumble and an interception were converted into field goals in the fourth quarter. Gonna go deep, airing it out. Mayhew's out there and got a better shot at it. Ball tipped in the air and grabbed. It's Brad Edwards at the 32. He's back to the 40. He's to midfield to the Buffalo 40. Cuts to the near side, 35, and goes down at the 34. The Redskins dropped the final curtain, a shroud, on Buffalo. But the Bills bowed out like troopers, scoring two more times on touchdown passes by Jim Kelly. Buffalo Bills played gallantly, but fruitlessly, and expended every last bit of emotion and energy. Super Bowl 26, 37 to 24. With almost 300 yards passing and two touchdowns, Mark Rippon, the most valuable player, reaped all the rewards. I'm going to Disney World. I'm coming with you. Rippon's trip to the Magic Kingdom should also include a stop at Hog Heaven, the place where his dreams came true. Hog Heaven is not located in rarefied air, but rests on the ground floor and form the sturdy base for victory. Knowing a frontal assault would be suicidal, the Bills' light but maneuverable front seven tried to outwit and outflank the massive Redskin offensive line by shifting, stunting, and exchanging assignments up to the snap of the ball. But these hogs were a movable feast, and everywhere a Buffalo Bill went, these piggies were sure to follow. Rippon had an uncluttered pocket and clear passing lanes because the hogs chopped down any potential obstruction. Redskin running backs often found their path unimpeded, especially at the goal line. Great blocking by the Hogs. They saw a hole you could drive a truck through. All the Redskins have really dominated this game. You know, they always talk about how the NFC is more physical than the AFC, and uh, you got to believe in this game, some of that is showing up. They just seem to be a more physical ball club. Uh, they're just beating up the Bills, as you say. Uh, Dickerson, the defensive coordinator, he was doing, he was doing all those sounds yeah. about those Hogs, and we're going to get those Hogs. We, we See you, know, big old fat hog. Bruce Smith looks disillusioned. Bruce Smith, number 78, was the most obvious target of the hog's brutal ballet. Playing on only one good leg, the injured all pro was like a man caught going the wrong way through a revolving door.
The Redskins' victory in Super Bowl XXVI was as overpowering as the Hogs' blocking, and as majestic and perfect as one of Mark Rippon's passes. With a coaching staff as deep and talented as the team itself, they had thoroughly defeated the best team in the AFC and richly earned the title of world champions. The final gun sounds. Super Bowl 26 is over. The world champion Washington Redskins, winners over the Buffalo Bills, 37 to 24. The world championship has been secured for the Washington Redskins. Picked to win it all before the season even began, they have fulfilled the promise. 17 wins, only two losses, and a dramatic domination of Super Bowl 26. World champions.